I want to tell you something that you might not believe at first. Actually, reading 50 books a year or a book every week at least is actually not that difficult. You might might be thinking, yeah, okay, maybe not for you, but it is for me. But stick with me. Uh, in the next few minutes, I want to give you all the tools that you'll need to become a genuine book nerd. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey everyone, my name is Dave Betts and this channel is all about learning, whether it's a product or a particular subject like photography or videography or a concept or anything like that. My goal really is to help people grow while I strive to do the same really. So let's talk about 52 books in a year. I should mention that this is primarily focused on nonfiction, but a lot of this will apply to fiction too. So here are my top tips. Let's jump right in. First, I recommend an e-reader. I know there are people out there who are still very passionate about the old ways and love a good paper book, but you know, when you're reading in bulk, e-readers are, are just epic for a whole bunch of reasons. Firstly, you're, you're going to save a ton of storage space, especially if you're reading lots of books. Plus, you can carry all of your books around with you wherever you go, which is a really neat thing. And you can actually highlight the book as you go and simply export those notes into a massive searchable game changer of a database that you can get back to with ease. That's a really good thing. And by the way, I've made a video about that. You can click on the card above or in the description below to learn about what that database might look like. You know, these things are super helpful, especially if you're reading a huge amount of information. And let's be honest, uh, there's a lot of information in like 52 books a year. So uh, those are good things. And on top of that, books are cheaper on Kindle, which if you're reading a lot, uh, it really adds up. And uh, one more thing, by the way, you can see your progress through a book as a percentage. That's really helpful when the chapters are super long and you're starting to lose the will to live. So, okay, you've got an e-reader. Next, if you're serious about reading regularly, I would really recommend an app called Goodreads or something similar to it. It's basically this nerdy little app for readers and I really love it. You can set yourself a reading challenge and you know, for me personally, it transformed my reading. It's really inspiring to see what friends are reading. Um, but I, I found most importantly, setting a public reading goal uh, was the kick in the butt I needed to stay motivated. It's, it's such a small thing, but I really can't emphasize enough how helpful that was for me personally. It made a huge difference. So e-reader, check. Goodreads, check. Next, uh, think about it this way. Reading is a skill. You can get better, but you have to practice. You know, If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that at one point I was studying two separate degrees at the same time. So as you can imagine, I was reading a fair amount. But what was happening a whole bunch of the time actually was that I'd read a paragraph and then somewhere, I don't know, in the next few paragraphs, I'd zone out and totally miss what the author was saying. Does that happen to you? I, you know, as I read more and more, I'm finding that uh, that happens less and less. I'm also processing information much more efficiently. Our minds are like muscles that strengthen over time. So be prepared to practice. And just like you wouldn't take your PS5 to the gym with you, you might want to think about how you uh, can minimize distractions. Maybe put your phone on do not disturb mode or go to a quiet place and stuff like that. These things seem obvious, but they're important. So basically, a lot of this is mindset stuff, because if you don't have that sorted, you're going to struggle. But uh, let's get really, really practical and figure out the numbers here. If you want to read 52 books a year, obviously that's a book a week, right? So uh, given the, the average book has about 12 chapters, that's about 1.7 chapters a day. So if you read at least two chapters a day, you'll be finished with plenty of time to spare. Or you know, a safer way to think about it is in terms of percentages, which is why an e-reader is really good. You know, a little bit of, uh, I think it's a little bit over 14% of a book will get you to your target uh, pretty easily if you're reading that every day. And that's a general rule. Some books are too big for that. I read Anna Karenina by uh, Leo Tolstoy last week, uh, last year rather, and it was a monster of a book. Some some books are much smaller. It took me a day. And the main thing I want to uh, focus on is that actually 14% is totally doable. In fact, books are totally doable if you break them into chunks. Have you ever heard of the Trans-Canada Highway? It's like 7,800 kilometers long or something. Isn't that amazing? Like humans made that. And it they made it one inch at a time. Mount Rushmore, the, the faces of American uh, presidents chipped into a mountain. It was made slowly by like painstakingly chipping away at rocks. That's an amazing achievement. But if you think of the big picture only, it's super overwhelming. However, taking these small chunks 
uh, and just chipping away, it makes it super doable. And here's how I apply this to reading. I try and read for half an hour in the morning or so before the rest of my family wakes up. I might read for 10 or 15 minutes after work, maybe, and 10 or 15 minutes before bed. And maybe I'll grab a few minutes here and there when I'm waiting for an appointment or something like that, rather than scrolling mindlessly through social media or watching YouTube as much as I love YouTube and want you to watch my videos. That's actually not a huge amount of reading, but you'll be surprised how quickly you get through a ton of books that way. And you know that's not including those lazy Saturdays or Sundays where you might have a bit more time on your hands or vacations where you can maybe take a few books with you or commutes to work where you can either read on the train or the plane or bus or listen to audio books in the car and all that stuff. You know, the, these chunks work. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You see, e-readers and apps like Goodreads are really great because they help you remember that these are, are, are chunks. Recognizing that reading is a skill can actively uh, help us uh, s- keep focused and stop us from being discouraged when it seems really tough and aiming for around two chapters or about 14% of a book a day broken into doable chunks throughout those days means that you can uh, really get through a whole bunch of information over the course of a year. It's not as hard as it sounds. I realize that some of you might be thinking, hey, it's not exactly profound, right? You're, You're telling me to just get a Kindle and read a lot. Well, It's a bit more than that, but not much. Like I said at the beginning, it's actually not as difficult as people think it is. It's more of a mindset thing than anything. And and trust me, if I can do it, you totally can. Uh, But I'd love to know what you think. Have you found any of this helpful? Uh, If so, I would love it if you would let me know or maybe uh, comment some other helpful suggestions to read well and regularly. I, I really hope that this video has helped you in some way. If it has, please Yeah, I guess you know the the deal, right? Feel free to give it a like. Consider subscribing for more content like this. But in the meantime, that's it from me. (laughs) Wherever you are in the world and whatever it is that you're up to, have an incredible day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.